Hey guys, Hes here bringing you another video. Now welcome to pre-season 8. Um, so I will just do a brief explanation of what preseason is because there'll be some people watching that have no idea that don't really look up what's going on in league. They just play the game. So preseason is well, the end of season seven has gone and season eight has not is not here yet. That's coming in next year, January time. So there has to be a time in between where Riot implement all the changes. Now, first thing I'm going to do is ban Cogmore because I just played a game and he seemed a little bit broken. Um, so all the changes, all the big changes happen now. And obviously the biggest change that we have is the brand new rune system. Well, runes and masteries. So um, it's going to take a while to learn uh, my videos. Again, it's going to be a learning process for me as well. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to play Aurelia today because I want to try it out. And um, we'll see how it goes. Again, this is going to be a kind of an ex experiment time for everybody. Uh, what's best? What's the best way to play different champions? Like I'm trying this way with Aurelia. That's Precision re and Resolve. Next game I play Aurelia, I might try Execution or whatever it's called. Like Demolition. It depends. You know, there there's so much that's going on. It's going to take a while for everybody to kind of understand and learn what's the best way to play. Uh, which is cool. It's it's nice. It's a it's why League of Legends, I believe, has survived for so long, because it um, it kind of changes every year. Like something changes every year. Some people overreact and think it's the end of League of Legends. It's not. Like trust me. Um, it's it's just a change. It's healthy. So yeah. Um, for skin, should we just go with Frostbutt? I think we'll go with Frostbutt because it's just simply the best skin. End of. Um, and I will say, as when it comes to meta, because some people are like, so what's meta now? Again, we don't know. Uh, it's going to take a while for us to kind of work out what's good. Um, for the most part, like things that were strong before probably are still strong now. But there's probably a lot of stuff that is actually still or that is now strong that wasn't or is stronger uh, or might be weaker. There may be some stuff that is definitely weaker and it's going to take a while to find out. So it should be good. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. So they do have quite a high damage team. I would have liked something different to a Severe because she's not a crazy carry like a Draven is. Uh, something that could have matched him potentially would have been better. But I guess some of it has been banned. Uh, you know, Cogmore has been banned. Twitch has been banned. Vayne has been banned. So what other carry is there? Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, this is technically the first game that we're playing on YouTube or for YouTube. Um, in the preseason, we're playing Aurelia. Uh, again, we're, we're going to be trying to play a little bit more carry aggro type champs a little bit this season. And we're going to be experimenting that with, in the next few weeks. All right, we're on to the game today. We're playing Aurelia in the top lane. We are running... Uh, blah, 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 what are we doing? It's, again, it's always... We're running Lethal Tempo with Resolve. Uh, we are really quick. Woo. Uh, we're not anymore. Uh, just to show you the ratings. Obviously, uh, Lolwiz is going to take a few days to kind of keep up or catch up with all the new rune stuff. Uh, but just to kind of point out the new preseason, what generally happens if you're continuing to play ranked. Uh, people either... Well, this is the time that either one tricks reign supreme or people that play new stuff. Um, so basically, you'll see here that you've got a one trick on their, their team, you've got a one trick in Nivea, and then everybody else, well, I guess the Draven has a few games, but most people else has very little games on their champions. This is the best time to play League if you want to pick up new stuff, because everybody is getting used to new stuff. So if you want to get used to new stuff, you're not in a disadvantage, because everybody basically else is doing the same thing. So if, yeah, if you, if you want to pick up new champions, do it now. Um, there will be, obviously, you know one tricks and that which we are trying to experiment how to play their champion because obviously that's all they play but it, it's a good time really good time so uh, we're against our neck then again it's if, if you know stuff hasn't changed which it shouldn't change that much this is relatively a skill matchup uh, but that Aurelia outscales. Renekton has early advantage that he can definitely kill an Aurelia in the early game a Renekton can kill an Aurelia uh, but, but the, the, you know it doesn't take long for uh and Aurelia to kind of go, I outscale you. Wabam. Um, so, yeah. It's so again, first game playing of Aurelia in the new season. We just did something. This unit has increased attack speed. And Severe's already dead. So I did say I was a little bit worried about her picking Severe against something like a Draven. Such a big carry orientated uh, champion versus Severe that's not very carry orientated. You're probably going to get bullied. Um, very unlikely a Severe will hold her own versus a Draven. Unless she's just got an amazing support. 
Um, someone's asking, do you agree that a Diamond 1 player has a better say at League than a Diamond 5 player? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Again, I am from a game design background. I very much believe in game design should be designed from the up down. Uh, because if it's broken from the up, then your like whole pinnacle of your game is just broken. Uh, so they did die again. Oh, man. God, that Thunderlord's damage. That's that's still around. <laughs> they got a nice kill, though. Yeah, his early game is definitely... His early game actually might be stronger. There's a chance it might have got buffed, not nerfed. Well, yeah, it, there's the chance it might have got buffed, not even stayed the same. Don't think he can dive, though, I'm pretty sure. And Aurelia's very good at last hit. I'm going to... I might. Okay, he's got his W on for some reason. Okay. It does seem that we're a little bit on our own because Jarvan is nowhere near top lane. So, gonna just, you know, try to survive as long as we can. Potentially, actually, should have maxed my E again. Increase stun duration. Like, Aurelia is one of the very few champions in League that has always been able to basically max whatever she needs. If you want to max Q for burst, you can do that if you're against a squishy. If you want to max W for dueling power, you can do that. If you want to max E for survivability, increased stun, you can do that. She's one of the very few champions that can basically max everything and have an advantage in some way. Um, it's why, again, we did the, the video about, you know, Relia getting reworked the other week. I still don't know why she's getting reworked because she's got a fairly good play balance and design now. Uh, so Gals is telling me in chat, apparently they buffed Renekton's Q and E damage as well as, you know, all the changes that has come in. So, yeah. So the big bo uh, big Renekton boy did definitely get a buff. Unfortunately, I can't do anything. And again, this is what a lot of people do uh, that is bad. They'll go for that farm. They think they need that farm. And yes, it's very annoying that I'm getting denied. But you know what would be worse? Me going for that farm, not getting it and also getting killed. That's even worse. Don't do that identify that he has an advantage in the early game and let him have that advantage, you know? So bot lane does seem to be kind of a fiesta, but again, we were kind of expecting it. Double kill, Jarvan died. Not good. There's going to be a very... F well, there is a very fed Draven already. And again, I will partially put that to... Oh, well, she's gone. I will pretend, uh, partially put that to just a severe pick. Just can't match... So, did Draven just kill... No! Any adult, anyway. Damn. His uh, his damage is high. Like, really high. And Nivea DC'd, but then came back straight away. So, hopefully her connection is fine. Well, that might be a kill. Oh, she went for the stun after. Okay. Alright, we're going to go for late game scaling. Because we are definitely not beating this Renekton anytime soon. Because that, that damage is high. Shut down. <laughs> what is happening in bot lane? So they get killed and then they die and then they like... <sighs> I'm guessing he didn't go back like the Draven. Yeah, he didn't go back. Okay, there's a double kill. Cool. <laughs> Again, like the stream episode yesterday, that, that, that whole day was basically Fiesteries. Um, Preseason's rather Fiestery as well. Because, again, you've got people that play their champion a lot versus people that are picking up new things. So, for example, the matchup between Severe and Draven is pretty bad anyway. But then you've got somebody who's new to Severe versus somebody who's played Draven a lot. It's an uneven matchup anyway. So, you know. Wait, did I not ma- Oh, I didn't even level my ultimate. I did a bad thing. Look at that damage! Like, you're like, I'm winning the trade! And then suddenly, vroom! You're like, okay. No, I'm not. I lied. Jesus. It just, like, it, like, shows up. Okay. Jarvan's trying to dive a Rengar. Jarvan might be dead, because Draven is on his way here. Also, I don't exactly know how I didn't level up my ultimate. Yeah, Jarvan died. 
These mid lanes doing well. Okay, I got my ultimate now. They're dead in bot lane again. What's going on in bot lane? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, we got this Anivia that's doing well, but that's about it. No! I nearly killed him! Oh, I thought I could have killed him then. Damn, my burst wasn't high enough. Close. It's a good sign. Again, we do outscale him. It's just the damage in the early game is very surprising. Okay. Uh, no, wrong one. I, I don't know if he flashed. They're dead again. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, Draven's killed himself for doing that, but like, I... No idea. Okay, let's go. Yay! I think an Anivia can take care of a Draven. Like, I'll be able to take care of a Draven as well. So it's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, he's 9 and 3. That's really strong. <laughs> so the Rise, you can get, again, just one game of Rise. Obviously not used to the champion. Really low farm, everything. My tower's gone. Um, again, it's, it's very normal for the beginning of the... Well, especially beginning of preseason uh, for people to experiment more than any other time. Hopefully Jarvan goes away because Renekton probably is going to go and help. Oh, really? I definitely mismanaged that. Still don't know where Renekton is because like, he could just pop up like here. It wouldn't surprise me. A good kill. Where's the Renekton? Okay, there's the Renekton. Hello, buddy. I want to push this. I don't want Renekton just to have free reign of the map. I don't like that idea. Okay, he's back top lane. Good. I might go bot lane. Maybe. How to take your uh, AD carries farm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yoink. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Good double stun. So that's what I mean. Of all champions to do well, like this severe. Hey, nice. I, it was good that an Aurelia got. Fed. I, I keep saying Aurelia. I, it's good that an Anivia got fed because, as somebody that has played Anivia quite a lot, you can one shot AD carries that are fed. It's still an AD carry. So, yeah. That's kind of our saving grace at the moment is our mid laner. Especially that their mid laner is not doing very good either. And I will eventually outscale the Renekton. It's just, damn. Again, sometimes you will be surprised of, like, just stuff. Like, that damage of Renekton has definitely surprised me. I'm just pinging there because Renekton could definitely roam mid lane. 2v1 with a rise, that's a dead bird. Because she also used egg in bot lane. Don't know where he's gone, though. Rift Herald, maybe? Oh, there he is. Um, could I kill you now? I wonder. Maybe. We'll see. Are there any websites for the new runes? I'm not sure if they will be uh, available yet, because obviously it's the first day that they are out. But if, if you're a little bit, like, like, not comfortable with, you know, doing them yourself and stuff. Again, they're fairly self-explanatory. Most people should be completely fine uh, with them, I would actually imagine. There we go. We've outscaled him now. Um, most people, like, if you just read through them, I think most people, if you understand how your champion works, you should be relatively fine. Um, but most guide websites, I'd imagine, will update pretty quick because they know a lot of people, like, to be, okay, if you don't know, most guide websites survive off running ads on their website and guess when the most popular time for these, for these websites to be used is when new stuff happens. So, trust me, they will have big incentives to update their website as quick as possible. Uh, don't use Mobifier. That is the one that I would very much stay clear of. Um, 
Try to stick with websites that either go with large quantities of match data, so it kind of averages out. It's like, okay, that's what the average person does with that percentage of win rate. That's what champion.gg does. Or go with like probuilds.net that basically looks at pro games and what other professionals doing. But yeah, never use, never use Mobifier. Uh, Mobifier is fan submitted or viewer submitted, and that could be a Bronze 5 person. Um, just stay clear of that. Oh, wow. They did some good stuff. So this game, again, very fiesta -y, but it seems that it's going okay. Uh, we are shutting down the Draven. Like, he is dying a lot, but, um, yeah. Don't know where Renekton has gone. But, yeah, we just 1v1'd him. I know I didn't speak about, like, a lot. Like, a lot of people would probably go, yeah, and be really overexcited about killing him because they've had a rough early game or whatever versus him. I knew we was going to beat him anyway. That's why, you know, I wasn't that like hyped up about it i outscale a renekton that that's always going to be the case that always is the case it was just a very rough early game rough it was rougher than i was expecting i'm not sure if that was worth oh you this is bad screw that that i didn't notice her mana she was basically oom I'm going to go back top lane. Got Triforce relatively soon. Nice. Oh, God. We are really overstaying. <laughs> she just killed him. Just keep running a bit. Just keep running a bit. I, d I didn't want to like go on him right there and then. Now go on him. Ka Karma just killed everything. Is her damage really high? What's going on? <laughs> Preseason! Where everything just doesn't make sense anymore. Isn't it great? Again, I think I touched on, I I think I touched on it earlier. But it's why League has survived for as long as it has. It, it, it's a game that's constantly changing. And it's not small changes. These are big changes, right? It's good. It's really good that they do that. If League of Legends was the same practical game that it was in Season 1, it'd be dead. Completely. Like, the reason why League has survived so long is the fact that it changes and adapts. Some changes you won't agree with. That's just natural. That's life. But for the most part, change is good. Okay, where's the Draven? Because I thought he might overstay trying to, like, kill someone in a 1v1. That's a very Draven thing to try and do. Would like 800 gold before I go back because I'd want to buy Ninja Tabby. Again, the Rise is practically worthless, so Armor Boots is definitely the way forward um, this game. That karma damage is actually insane. How is she doing that much damage? I don't... Like, karma's damage. How much damage do you deal, karma? What the... Like, is it her killing people? Like, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's her damage, right? It's not someone else's damage. What? Like, I know a lot of people don't have resistances, but still, you're a support karma. Her only AP item... She didn't have Leandre's complete at the time. It was something else. How was her damage that high? They broke her. <laughs> Your team has destroyed a no idea. No idea. Jesus. 
Again, it can happen that some OP stuff just can slip through the net. I'm not saying Karma's OP. This is the first game playing with it. You need more games than one to determine if something's OP or not. But that did seem quite a lot. <laughs> you know, it did seem quite a lot of damage. Uh, let's go Bork. Uh, I guess I'll go bot lane because Severe's got top. May as well apply the pressure. But, you know, I was playing Renekton at the, the, the tail end of last season a little bit, and I stopped playing it. And the reason why I stopped playing even Renekton is because I was getting frustrated with getting outscaled by everything. I think Renekton still has that problem. His early game is fantastic and always will be, probably. That's the type of champion he is. But you guys saw I was getting so bullied. A lot bullied in the early game. And then we just killed him in a 1v1, and I didn't even have Sheen by then. Okay, that rise is really weak. Um, so yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, I love Renekton's champion design, but if he just falls off by, you know, like, level 9, there's not a lot of point playing it. Sadly. Aurelio, I will say, though, feels good. Um... Do I think the changes have at all negatively affected her? That was nice and Nivea play. Uh, no, I think the changes actually have probably helped Aurelia. Uh, getting all this attack speed in the runes that I have taken, I think it works really well. Um... Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, I got minion blocked. <laughs> got him! Yeah, I got minion blocked then. If I didn't get minion blocked, I would have killed him without dying as well. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, we, we got him. I'll take it. That's their really fair Draven that we just owned. Cool. So yeah, Aurelia's strong. We are attacking really quick, uh, which is what Aurelia wants. Because <laughs> uh, her true damage mixed with attack speed is just uh, true damage, true damage, true damage, true damage, dead. So I'd say Aurelia's benefited quite a lot as, as my first game playing her. Uh great the problem that i have right now in my head is like you know this whole preseason i'm now like trying to decide what am i what do i want to play you know what am i looking to pick up what's going to be my champion pool for next season i love aurelia how she is right now and i think these changes have benefited her greatly but guess what aurelia is on the update list they're doing a rework on aurelia so why would i pick up aurelia fully right now when even if i fall in love with how she is and i'm like yeah i'm playing aurelia and i'm really happy i'm getting good at her there's no point, because it's about to change anyway. Like, that's kind of disappointing. Kill him before he can get over. No, get him. <laughs> well, that was a really long flash. Well, that looked long. What the? Oh, that rise is so bad! <laughs> he walked off his own. Uh-oh. No. No, no. Can we kill him? Yeah. Oh, my, that damage! Help! Wait, he went... Oh. Oh. Where are you at? Oh, he's... Where's the kitty? Huh? He left me alone. I went top. Wait, and he went for minions. What's going on? He went for minions instead of Anivia. Don't fear. I was going to say don't fear. My attack speed is so high! It's crazy! I feel like a late game god. Probably because I am a late game god now. Oh, this feels good. Let's go, uh, well, I am next. She's feeling confident to stay at that health. Let's go back. Um, Ginsu? 
Like, maybe? Yeah. The game's over anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I'm going to buy, but maybe a Ginsu would be next. Like, this is for a pure, like, snowballing game that I'm very confident to kill people. In a normal game, I'm pretty sure I'd go a defensive item, like, Randuin or something. But I'd say, this... Does it surprise me that the Draven has died the amount of times he has? No, I actually... It hasn't. Dravens, generally, as just a playstyle, are very incredibly aggressive, and they usually get ahead. But their aggression sometimes, you know, is the beats them. Uh, you know, we had a strong Anivia. I outscaled. They're kind of funny. So the Draven, by playing continuously aggressive and not kind of adjusting that, he got punished for it. So yes, he was very fed. Bot lane was a fiesta in the early game. But he got beat. You know, he got beat by still playing aggressive um, when he should have adjusted to be a little bit more passive. I'll give it to Anivia because she played quite well. Um, but yeah, that's the first uh, preseason video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Obviously, Rengar seemed to be a little bit, you know, grumpy, technically. Um, again, one tricks, they tend to rage a bit more. But uh, yeah, we got plus 18, 8 to 8, 160. We got an S overall. I'll take it. And then damage done. Uh, doing not crazy high damage, but if you compare me to the Renekton, quite a lot more to my lane opponent. Uh, and again, early game was really rough. So if you want to take any lessons of, you know, what Aurelia versus Renekton especially. It's still a rough early game. That hasn't gone away. But it's, uh, you know, it, you outscale quite easily. Uh, but yeah, Karma damage. Uh, karma support, everybody. Uh, doing the most damage. And Anivia, by the way, was very... Anivia in herself was strong. She was 8-0. and 0. 16 kill Karma. When, when she was doing incredible damage, uh, she didn't have a lot of 8 items. So that's insane. So that's a that's a pick that's worth noting, everybody. If if it might be OP, maybe use it for some LP at the in preseason. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time.